There's a huge number of challenges. <coughs> the FDA approved this for uh, pediatric young adult ALL up to the age of uh, 26 uh, through 25, um, which is uh, difficult to understand exactly. So a 26-year-old would technically, I guess, not be able to get this. We've got to fix that. We have to have some way that the people who need this can get it. Uh, obviously, we're doing uh, uh, studies in adults as well. Toxicities are probably a little greater, but um, probably manageable. And so it's, it's in a tremendously exciting uh, field. Uh, obviously it's personalized medicine. A manufacturer has to be now in line with the patient to be able to make a product from that patient's cells. Um, that's never, we haven't really done that before in, in medicine, so there's a lot of learning that's going to have to uh, uh, happen regarding um, how are we going to pay for this, what are the specialized centers that are going to be able to do it. You clearly need to have an experienced team to be able to deal with CRS. You need an ICU team to be able to take care of these patients when they get when they get sick. But tremendously exciting time, and now we're trying to translate it to other cancers, you know, breast cancer, lung cancer, other hematologic malignancies, but very exciting.